So this is a fairly common plant around the world. Just so happens this particular patch that I'm filming was filmed in the Falkland Islands. It's known as German chamomile or chamomila recutita or another Latin name I've found for it is matricaria recutita. It's also known as scented mayweed. So it's got large daisy-like flower heads. It's almost hairless on the stem and the leaves and it can grow um, around about 50 centimetres tall and it's quite upright in its growth habit as well. It's different to Roman chamomile or chamomilum nobile in that this German chamomile has that tall upright habit whereas Roman chamomile is more of a ground hugger forming a mat almost like grass. As German chamomile has far larger flower heads than Roman chamomile it makes it far more popular for using in herbal remedies. You'll often find this growing in neglected fields and also waste ground. It doesn't require a rich soil. It's an annual, but it self-seeds prolifically. So once you've got this, it'll spread itself all around your garden. It's believed that the ancient Egyptians used to use this plant to cure fever. Some of the properties it's known to have are that it's calming and soothing. It's an antiseptic. It's got digestive boosts. It's an anti-inflammatory and it's also thought to be anti-spasmodic. If you're going to use this plant or any other plant yourself for medicinal purposes, always get medical advice before you do so because you'll never be quite sure what it is you're taking and what effect it might have on you. So thank you for watching this short plant profile about German chamomile. If you liked what you've just seen, It'd be brilliant if you could click on the subscribe button and then that way you won't miss out on future videos. Thanks a lot guys.